So we're given the following math problem. Near the end of a US cable news show, the host invited viewers to respond to a poll on the show's website that asked, do you support the new federal policy discussed during the show? At the end of the show, the host reported that 28% reported um, yes and 70% responded no. Which of the following best explains why the results are unlikely to represent the sentiments of the population of the United States? So in order for sample data to represent the sentiments of the entire population as a whole, the sample data has to be taken at random from the original population. And in this situation, the sample is going to be the viewers that responded to the poll. And this is going to be taken at random from the people that watched the US cable news show. So you could say that um, the sentiments of the people who responded to the poll represent the sentiments of all the people that watched the US cable news show. But really, that's about it. This isn't a random sample of every single person in the United States. Because we're given the condition that they have to have access to cable television, which not everybody in the United States does. So B is the correct answer. As it says, those who responded to the poll were not a random sample of the population of the United States because they had to have cable.